I jerk my head into the back of the limo seat. Henry has arrived to pick me up from work. I hate leaving the building early on a Friday, especially when there's unfinished business because it means coming back on Monday to a fucking nightmare. Henry, tell me, did Adele put you up to this? I smile at him through the window. He has it half down. I'm not the type of boss that thinks of him as just my driver. He's worked for me for so long that he's practically family. Well... She said that she wanted to make sure you're on time to catch the yacht because they have a schedule with the skipper to keep. I'm just about to say something when my phone starts ringing. It's Tony, my CFO. If he's calling me within ten minutes of me leaving work, it's obviously bad news. What? I don't even give him a chance to speak. Do I need to come back to the office? He sighs. No. No. I just wanted to give you a heads up so that on Monday morning you don't have a fucking heart attack. I huff. Well, I'm pissed as it is, Tony. My heart stopped when you said that the deal hasn't gone through. It's not even worth the amount that we're paying. Just tell me what happened. I fucking don't know, Danny. Everything was set up. We were ready to go. Accountants team were here. The lawyers. It was the most fucking organized deal of the century. Then in a flash, it just went wrong. They want double. I scream out loud, maybe too loudly, because Henry almost crashes the car. Fucking double? They're lucky we offered as much as we did. I don't even want to get into the modeling industry. I just thought that I'd diversify the business, and then this opportunity came up. I know, I felt the same way but Adele recommended the agency, and you wanted to roll with it. A franchise that could grow in every nation, instead of just being in the States. I hate it when he repeats my words, especially because the way I'm feeling right now, I want to send them all a fucking bill for wasting my time. I'm going to turn around and come back to the office, get the board together, and we'll take it from there. Not on your life! This is Adele's wedding. You've got to go. You need to be there for your sister, and as for this mess, it'll still be here when you get back. There's nothing that can be done now. It's nearly Friday evening. Everyone's going home. It's been a long fucking week, and I need a drink. I laugh. You're not the only one. Fuck! He sighs. I know. Let me get a drink, and then we'll talk on Monday. Seven shop. I wouldn't dare come in any later. We hang up, and I feel bad about the way that I spoke to him. It wasn't Tony's fault that the first time I decide to diversify the company, it gets all fucked up. Shit. I can't wait to get on the yacht and have a fucking drink. A proper drink. Not the crap in the limo. Well, it's not exactly crap, but it's not the same as what I'm expecting my sister to be serving on the yacht. Sir, we're here. Henry announces on the intercom in the limo. He opens the door and I step out. I feel like running to the yacht for a drink. A shot of bourbon is called for. Knowing Dad, he'll have a bottle of A.H. Hirsch Reserve tucked in his suite. Henry can see I'm rattled. He knows better than to ask if everything's okay. It's not okay. It's a disaster. I can't fucking believe this. I thought that my day couldn't get any worse, and it did. What the fuck is it? Friday the 13th? Henry shakes his head and says, No, sir. I think he's about to ask me why I'm overreacting when he sees the problem. What the fuck is she doing here? I can't spend the weekend with her, and Adele knows it. I have a restraining order against Harper, my ex, for a reason. I want her to stay as far away from me as fucking possible. Harper's excuse for all her crap was that I broke her heart. As if that's justification for what she did to my family and me? Sir, what do you want to do? Henry knows about Harper and all her tricks. I'm usually in control of everything in my life, but when it comes to Harper, I lose my mind. It's as if she knows how to turn on the insane switch in my brain. I speed dial my sister, seeing as I'm a little late and she'll most likely be on the yacht already.